hello everyone and welcome back to my page maddie vlogs and does and today we're doing yet another client reading this is a career reading um and for the person that's purchasing the reading you you didn't leave a uh an exact um question um or regard um or or and or any message at all however these are the decks that I pulled out for you. I cannot oh, in my life, um, besides the soft deck, um, figure out the name of this deck. But um, when I was trying to knock out the previous energy from the decks, which I usually give my decks some light, um, they told me that they would like for you. I, I was thinking about, you know, pulling cards from this tarot deck because this is a tarot deck and this is considered an oracle. But they want me to give you the oracle and then for you to focus on either one to, to three cards that come out from here as like your life purpose and mission. Um, whatever cards come out from here, they're suggesting that you can either print them out um, or find a deck for yourself or purchase a deck for yourself. Um, I'm not quite sure what your living situation is, but I feel like uh, it might be a little bit of a, of a situation if cards are found wherever you are. Um, or you feel a little discouraged um, and your mind is a little blocked as well is what I'm, I'm getting when I tapped into your energy. But they would like for you to focus on the cards that I'm pulling from this specific deck. I'm going to give you the reading from here. So let's get started. And for the rest of you guys, um, I am taking readings by Sunday of this weekend. I should be able to have a new phone, uh, which is going to be my business phone. And you guys can contact me on my business phone. Text me. Um, I will leave my contact information for my business phone. Um, uh, on my website and also on my Etsy shop. And I do take readings via donations um, for whatever topic I have to upload. I mean, up, update my Etsy shop, but for as of right now, you guys can go right ahead and purchase readings for me. So um, my flower, whom this reading is for, here goes nothing. Please do not be nervous. Um, or at least try to, to, to control your nerves as well. <laughs> Because I feel like you purchased this reading and you're like, oh, I'm a little nervous as to what she's going to tell me. And I know you chose career, but they're telling me that other messages might come forward as well as far as like relationships is concerned or like friendships. So here we have preparing. Play, teacher, writing, divine protection. Let's see. Okay, so this is your little tableau here. So at first, we have preparing. Um, we have play. We have teacher. We have writing. And we have divine protection. So for those people in your life, this is like a smack in the face for the people in your life that are telling you that you're not going to be able to do certain things because of said limitation is what I'm getting from this first line of the tableau. Um, I know that it's kind of like self-explanatory. Um, however, this is the most important messages that my guides are telling me to tell you. This part of the tableau here is basically giving you an oomph. It's, it's giving you... Um, the push that you need, the confirmation that you need, that you are divinely protected and the universe is just ready um, for you to be uh, waiting for you to be ready to, to, to take the plunge, regardless of what people are telling you, regardless of what the information is that you're getting. Because I feel like this like tug and pull from your friends, maybe guidance counselors, um, people that are telling you this is the way that you should do it. This is the way that you should do it. And your question to you yourself, my flower, is that what do I want to do? And if you to ask yourself that and you're like, oh, I don't know. Look at your options. Don't ask nobody any questions. Don't ask any advice um, from, from the people that are giving you like information left and right. You know, like right now you, you would like a consultation. So I'm providing a consultation. However, I feel like the people around you are giving you too much information about too many things. And uh, my guys are telling me that you should remember that the universe is a vast place where you can do it all. It's just a matter of organization on how you're going to get started. 
um and it's showing me here it's like too many people you feel like it's too many people with this idea it's too many i feel like there's two career paths for you one of them is a spiritual path um that you've been questioning um in regards to spirituality uh starting your own business to that but you also want to it's telling me here you want to be a teacher um but i feel like you're the teaching has more to do with the spiritual side and um starting your own business whether that's a daycare um trying to help children and also writing a book between now and the next five to ten years of your life is the things that i see for you maybe for right now you were just like oh let me just prepare this one little thing but know that everything can be worked on simultaneously if you are ready to take the responsibility and the plunge girl go ahead and go for it okay go for it you are divinely protected there are there is no evil eye because i know i see that you believe in the evil eye and you're like oh so many people they're gonna sit here and like walk me through this situation but they're gonna give me evil eye know that those people will be dethroned because what, what you're doing for yourself nobody can take you off that path because it is your path it was already divinely ordered for you to take that path the universe is just waiting for you to take the plunge on the contracts that you spiritually prepared for yourself before reincarnating into this life so um you can start off slow with the writing and tell yourself like you know um the goals ideas get yourself a little journal you can get yourself a calendar like i like to to use um which i will do a little video on my instagram um and show you guys how i'm preparing my calendar with my ideas with my thoughts my deadlines etc and how you can um lower your anxiety when preparing this stuff because i also feel like it's a lot of anxiety driven stuff um that's happening because you don't know where to start so you want to start off as a writer start writing your goals and aspirations Okay, start looking down how you can start your business electronically and then worry about the location of where you want your business to head over to um, because you have the green light from the universe. You do. The next row on your tableau is communication, seeing, they're telling me three to three to 4.30 in the morning, danger, and then contrast. So I'm seeing that um somewhere along in the future maybe a year from now um you'll be with a partner you'll be with somebody i'm not quite sure what your preference is it doesn't really matter and whoever's telling you that it, it matters it doesn't because love is love and you are allowed to love who you want to love when you want to love this person no matter how um evil can evil this person might seem to other people um your friends family members or whatever it is your experience to go through whatever it is that you have to go through with this person it is your experience um but i feel like in a year um with this individual that you're having there's going to be a, an issue with within your purpose and what you have to do with your life because you have a lot of options and a lot of things you want to do and you will accomplish every single one of them okay you are divinely ordained you're going to make it you got this you got this you're gonna do it as a matter of fact you already did it because i know that you've been journaling because it says it right here, you've been journaling. Um, but you should start like at least a new journal with fresh ideas, fresh starts of of like um, your own research. Not what everybody else is doing is telling you. But if it's not a professional consultant or somebody that's working in the fields where you want to work, that's not part of your friends group or your circle of people. Uh, try not to listen to them, even if they're giving you the same idea, because it's like they are giving you evil eye however it's going to bounce right back to them because this is your purpose but back to this um situation that i see within a year i feel like your individual that you're going to be with plus your purpose are going to clash if you can find the balance between your purpose and the person that you're going to be with everything's going to be just fine okay because i feel like there's giving you the signs of like danger um you know uh, be careful with that because the person that you with might expose like your secrets or um, the uh, maybe ingredients of something that you would like to create in a year from now, they might expose you. So you have to be careful about that. However, don't be afraid to love. Okay. And when you see something, say something. 
is what they're saying with communication and seeing. And I apologize for the noise in the background. Um, so communication and seeing when you see something, say something, okay? Like this, this is what this is what I want. If you're telling people this is the contract that I want, this is the location that I want, this is the journal that I want. This, this is the tax person whom I want my tax my taxes to be prepared by, say that. Okay, don't just be a follower because now that you're going into some sort of entrepreneurship, whether that's you teaching for another company, you're still leading on how you want to teach other individuals. Okay, don't play with your future. Don't let anybody play with your future. Whatever goals you want, whatever the love of your life is, whatever your passion is, go for it. Don't neglect yourself because you have multiple purposes. A lot of people want multiple purposes. Girl, you're lucky. Come on now. And then opening enemy. Mm. Okay. Um, these are the last two cards. So seeing who your competition is. And knowing that you should never compete with them. I'm going to repeat that. Seeing who your competition is and knowing that you should never compete with them because your journey is your journey. Your messages are your messages and there's nothing, do you hear me, that is going to topple you down from the stairs that you see right here. You see these stairs? These is your stairs and you're speaking to, speaking them into existence. You're seeing whatever it is that you want to manifest and you're speaking these stairs into existence so that your physical body in this life can manifest their, its goals in this life. But when you're listening to what everybody has to say, when you know they're your enemy, you know they don't have your best interest at heart, you're opening the doors for them to have competition. Let them be competing by themselves. Girl, forget them. Let them compete by themselves. Because a queen is always last in the procession. That's that's number one. And you can only compete with people that are in your same energy sphere. And these people that I see around you are not within your same energy sphere under any circumstances. Okay? Um, also, don't, don't worry if you have to get yourself one job to be able to... Um, get the, the the materials and the things that you need uh for your businesses besides anything else also be careful and try to keep your personal life um and your businesses apart okay you've already made the decision because it's not a mistake the decision and you're having the experience of people knowing what you want and they're trying to topple you down my spirit guys are saying light a white candle and spearmint and, and sprinkles, sprinkles some spearmint, clean the white candle with some holy water and talk your manifestations into that. And that will also serve as protection and you feeding that candle will feed your ancestors and also protect your manifestations, okay? Now, let's see how many cards want to come out and play here. See, one to three cards. I'm pulling three cards for you. Um... Okay, this is this one's for the mind. So you have the six of swords is for the mind. So another goal card. So uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be from this deck that you can print out um, the card, but you can literally go on Google and, and figure out, you know, print out the six of swords in a regular deck and print it out and put it in your manifestation notebook in your vision board and it's going to remind you this is your mind. You're moving. You've already made the decision in your mind like this is where I want to go. Your body is the six of victory. So another six. Oh my God. Look, just make it. Just do it. Make it and do it. Girl, physically move. Don't just win in your mind. Show them what you got. Show them what you got. Because you could, you could show them better than you can tell these little losers around you telling you you can't do what you have to do. And, and, I'm, and let me tell you, sometimes the losers can be even a parent of ours telling us you can't do this, you can't do that. But it's your decision. It is your life. It is your blessing. Then last but not least, we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so mind, body, and soul. So right now, you might feel a little bit broken, but it's like I tell myself, and I'm, I, can, I can only give you the advice that I tell myself that works for me um uh and that my spirit guides have guided me to provide to you guys as a messenger your swords can break you down can punch you damn near leave you for dead but these are the same swords that you should bow down to because they will teach you where you need to go do you hear me they, these swords are going to teach you where you need to go 
mind, body, and soul. So your soul might feel broken. But these are these are the things that are just going to get you through because when you're succeeding, that's the testimony. These swords are the testimonies that you're going to use to make yourself your platform, tell your story, create, 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 no matter what you want to do. You want to teach, you want to open up your own daycare, you want to be a messenger, open up your own YouTube, you want to do tarot all at the same time, do it. Because I feel like those are the things where you are. I, I don't know why I keep seeing like daycare, children, teaching, um, going to school for this stuff. Maybe you're not thinking about it, but maybe this is the consultation that you needed to open these doors to get you to where you needed to be. So I hope that this re um, reading resonates with you. Thank you so much for allowing me to open space for you. Um, and please do not forget, you, forget to water your life. And I love you all very, very much. Bye, guys.